next story concerns the unjustified assassination of Iranian General Soleimani. Now, in a fit of impotent imperialist rage, the uh, President of the United States, uh, famous for hosting a game show once, uh, killed this general in what is blatantly an act of war. And when the war machine, uh, paperly, in a paper-thin way, tried to backfill and justify this, it was obvious. Like, for example, the Vice President said that Suleimani helped uh, smuggle the 12 9 11 hijackers in and has done all sorts of uh, anti-American terrorism. On that uh, second point, um, they've cross-checked the death tolls and everything else, and no, he hasn't. And more, moreover, I have the 9-11 Commission report right here. I read this whole thing. Not once does it mention Iran or Soleimani in any way helping conduct the 9-11 attacks. And in fact, he helped us fight Al-Qaeda in Iraq and the Taliban in Afghanistan. And moreover, just to prove how easily disprovable a lie this was, there were 19 hijackers on 9-11, not 12. Now, they're lying this blatantly, and this obviously, because they're trying to manufacture consent for us to go into Iran and do a war, because they've been trying to do this, and not, not, they, not just necessarily this administration, but all the psychotics that run the think tanks and all these sparring war criminals in our military want to go in and have a war with Iran. They've been trying to do this for years. You might remember earlier, uh, last year and the year before, when there was that attack on a Saudi oil tanker and on one of our drones, and they tried to spin that as an attack on all Americans, when... Um, I'm, I'm one, I'm not a drone, and two, I will never become a barrel of Saudi oil. So I, it's, this is not a problem, right? And then after this, so they're trying to backfill all this, and our media, of course, being the loyal sheepdogs that they are, just immediately rolled over and said, yeah, he, he, it was, he had to die, Suleimani did, because uh, he's the bad guy. Duh. You know, obviously. And this is the, these are the exact same people that in the post-9-11 hysteria, which they're trying to, you know, do again now, uh, who lied to us to get us into Afghanistan, who lied to get us into Iraq, and quite Oliver North, who was responsible for the Iran-Contra affair, which resulted in a genocide in Nicaragua, he's back telling us to do this. Same people who even got us into Vietnam, for Christ's sake. Like, this is awful. Like, I, no one should be believing this, and yet we're, they're being treated seriously. And it just doesn't make any sense. I'm not sure where to go with this, but I, I only know of one person uh, who will, has promised, to stop the endless wars and get us out of the Middle East. And if you want to learn more about that person, I, you need to go to www.berniesanders.com. That is the only way we don't go in there and just keep this Cold War stalemate going, because I'm not sure if you're aware of this, as they claim Iran's this massive threat. We have them surrounded with military bases, and have for years. And by the by, uh, Iran has been, of course, you know, been aware of this, and they have missiles pointed at the entirety all over the Gulf of Oman. So if we even think about going in, which we have done, we did, we did a war game back in 2002 called the Millennium Challenge, look into it, uh, we were, again, prepping to go into Iran, and again, this 9-11 hysteria, which was, I'm not sure, I mean, our generation was too young to remember it uh, specifically, but we collectively lost our minds when that happened, and so we let all sorts of awful, awful things happen. Not only the wars, but the rolling back of our personal freedoms through, like, the Patriot Act, which is blatantly unconstitutional. But, so we do the war game and we lose, or nearly lose, and because uh, our military is very, very brave and very uh, smart and not at all filled with seething war criminals, because they know they'll just get pardoned afterwards and start a frickin' lifestyle brand, uh, they, they changed the rules of the game so then we could win and be the liberators and not an occupying imperialist force, right? And after all this, our, our good, very big-brained president who has the best ideas and surrounded himself with the best people threatened to do actual, verifiable war crimes, blowing up cultural sites, which is in violation of the Rome Statute or the Geneva Conventions. And everyone was like, well, he's not actually going to do that. He didn't fill out the paperwork to do the war crimes. And I'm like, there's paperwork to do war crimes? We can, we can just do that, apparently. Which is what you do when you're the good guys, you know? You just have a form, you just, whoop, I can do war crimes, you know? And it's, it's, it's funny to me that people are just now realizing, wait a minute, when it comes to defense stuff, 
he's basically a king war. Every president just has been king war for years and years and years. Um, quite frankly, I don't think it should be possible for anyone at any time to even do a war crime, you know. And if you're thinking, hey, does that, does that mean we would have to, every single military and every part of the military industrial complex would have to get, you know, dismantled? Uh, the answer is yes. Yeah, yeah, yes, those things should happen. <sighs> Again, if you want to stop all this from happening, that is www.berniesanders.com. <sighs> happy, happy new decade, everyone. I'm, I'm so tired already. I'm just so tired.